And after tornadoes in Williamson County this week, many are wondering why there aren't any tornado sirens in much of the county. CBS Austin's Christian Flores joins us live in Round Rock tonight, digging into why this is the case. Christian? A couple of cities in Williamson County have air sirens for tornadoes, but none of those are here in Round Rock and quite frankly in most other cities. Now, county officials and emergency officials say that's because they feel they can reach more people with text alerts. We think that it's been saving lives. Emergency officials are crediting text messages with saving lives during this week's tornadoes in Williamson County. Nobody in Central Texas died or was seriously hurt. The Capital Area Council of Governments, or CAPCOG, runs the text and landline alert system Warn Central Texas. A few years ago, only 8% of Central Texas was signed up for these alerts. But now, it's up to 60 to 70%. Our commitment to expanding our presence so that we could reach the most folks uh, during an emergency. However, Williamson County neighbors are alarmed there weren't physical alarms in the form of air sirens, adding they sometimes ignore text messages. It just makes it more um, serious, I guess. My old neighbors were telling me uh, they weren't warned. I get so many text alerts that I don't probably don't take them as seriously as I should. Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel addressed these concerns, saying he believes the text alerts reach more people. Tornado sirens uh, are certainly an option. I don't know that they're the best option for today in today's world with all the technology that we have available. The Dallas area, which is more accustomed to seeing tornadoes, has sirens across the Metroplex, including 168 in Dallas and 43 in Plano. In Williamson County, Georgetown has 23 sirens and Cedar Park has three in parks, with the rest of the region reliant on text and landline alerts. Why this over something like a more traditional, like an outdoor warning siren? A lot of folks are moving away from the outdoor warning systems because they're really designed to be warning people that are outdoors. We can reach people more effectively with uh, very specific geographically located messages uh, through the systems that we use. Now, CAPCOG was able to get that big jump in signups for their alerts by getting lists of cell phone numbers matched with addresses in the region and signing those up for those alerts themselves. Now, if you still don't have those alerts, we actually have how you can do so on our website, cbsaustin.com. Reporting live in Round Rock, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.